essentially. So what do you do? Well, first things first, let's talk about 1%. So when you talk about percentages, percent means per cent. Cent means like a uh, 100, 100 cents in a dollar, 100 years in a century, uh, you know, 100 uh, feet on a centipede, right? So per cent means per hundred. So 1%, we're really talking about one one hundredth. Now look at one one hundredth. See how this is like divided by one hundred? When we divide a number by one hundred, what we do is we actually move the decimal place two places to the left. So for example, if we have 120, let's just use this as an example. 1% 1 of 120, we would move that decimal one, two places. So now if we're talking about 1%, we'd be at 1.2. Now say for example, they wanted you to find 2% of 120. Well, we know what 1% is. 2% is double, right? So we just have to take 1.2, multiply it by two, and we've got 2.4. 3%, we just multiply it by three, that'd be 3.6, et cetera. Say for example, they ask us though for 10%. Now again, remember percent, per means divided by. So percent means 10 over 100. Now if we reduce this by dividing the numerator and denominator by 10, that reduces to 1 tenth. 1 tenth means we're dividing by 10. When we divide by 10, we just take that number and we just move the decimal one place to the left. So 10% of 120 would just be 12. What would 20% of 120 be? Well, if 10% is 12, 20% would be twice as much, it'd be 24. If it was 30%, it'd be three times as much, it'd be 36, etc. Let's take a look at 33 and a third percent. 33 and a third percent, that's one third, right? So one third of something, it means we're dividing it by three into three equal parts. So if we were to take 33 and one third percent of 120, 120 divided by three is 40. Say for example, we wanted 66 and two thirds percent. That's double 33 and one third percent. So that's gonna be double 40. That's gonna be equal to 80, right? Okay, let's talk about 25% now. So 25% is 25 over 100, right? So 25% means per 100. But if we reduce this, we get 1 fourth, which means like we're dividing by four. We're dividing into quarters, just like there's four quarters in a dollar, right? Uh, that means it's a four. So we're dividing by four. So one fourth of 120 would be 30. Now, if you wanted to find 75%, that's three times 25%. That's triple this. We would triple this. It would be 90, right? 50%, that's probably the easiest one to understand. When somebody says 50%, it means they're cutting it in half, right? So half of 120 would be equal to 60. Okay, so let's jump into some more examples. See if you can do these ones on your own and you can check them with this video here and see if you're on the right track. So 10% of 450. So we said 10% is really like dividing by 10. We're moving that decimal one place to the left. So this one, 45, right? Okay, now 1% 1 of 35. Well, 1% we said was like dividing by 100, one part out of 100. So we're going to move that decimal two places to the left. We're at 0.35 or you could write it as 0.35. 10% of 750, same thing, 10% where it's like dividing by 10, you move that decimal one place to the left. 1% 1 of 400, we move it two places to the left, so that's gonna be four. 3% of 600, a little bit more challenging. Well, let's find out what 1% is. We move that two places, that's gonna be six. That's 1%, but we want three times as much, 3%, that's gonna be three times six, which is 18. 20% 20 of 900, well, let's find 10%. Move that one place to the left, that's 90. 20% 20 is double, so that's gonna be 180. 25% of 48, well, we talked about 25% is like one quarter, or dividing by four. If we divide this by four, we get 12. 7% of 500, well, let's find out what 1% is. Move that two places to the left, that's five. Seven times five is 35. 60% of 80, well, let's find 10% of 80. 10% we move the decimal one place to the left, that's eight. 60% is six times 10%, six times eight is 48. 33 and one third percent of 24, 33 and one third percent is one third, that's like dividing by three, 24 divided by three is eight. Okay, let's look at letter K, 70% of 40, let's find 10%, that's four. Seven times four is 28. 15%, now this one we can do a couple different ways. 15% is really like 10% plus 5%. Let's find out what 10% is. 10%, we move that one place to the left, that's gonna be 
Now 5% is half of 10%, right? So half of 2.8 is 1.4. If we add those together, you can see we're getting 4.2. Okay, so that's a good way to do it. It's 10%, cut the 10% in half, add them together. 50% we talked about was half, so half of 90 is 45. 75%, let's find out what 25% is. That's like dividing by four, that's like one fourth. So that's gonna be four, and 75% is three times 25%, so three times four is 12. 250%, now this is a more challenging one. See, 100% really means the whole thing, right? If somebody says, I'm gonna give you 100% you know, of my sandwich, that's the whole thing, right? <laughs> but 200% uh, would be like two times as much. 250%, 50% is like half, so we're really talking about two and a half times as much. So let's do two times as much. Two times 38 is 76. Half of 38 is 19. If we add those together, what do we get? Five, one, we're looking at 95, okay? So in the last one, 66 and two-thirds percent, we're talking about two-thirds, but let's talk about one-third, that's 33 and a third percent. One-third, when, when you divide by uh, three, that's one-third, so that's gonna be nine. 66 and two-thirds is double 33 and a third, so if we multiply this by two, you can see we're getting 18. So that's the basic idea. If you understand this idea of 1% moving the decimal one place to the left, uh, I'm sorry, two places to the left, 10% you're just moving it one place to the left. 33 and a third is dividing by three, 25% is dividing by four, 50% is dividing in half, 66 and two thirds is double uh, 33 and one third, so figure out this first and then double. Those are the key ones. If you understand those, it'll be easy to calculate these uh, percentages mentally. So I hope that helped you understand how to work with these better. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment in the comments below if you have any um, just further ideas about how to do mental uh, math as far as uh, percentages are concerned. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the future videos and I'll talk to you soon.